of you look at the design of fir filter fir stands for finite impulse response filter now how will you design fir filter i think last class i had uh, discussed how to design fir filter so h of n is the impulse response of your fir filter which is equal to hd of n into w of n so what you are doing whatever response you got that may be infinite so you are multiplying a window sequence with the infinite impulse response so as to get a finite impulse response that is the significance of a window function so when a window function is multiplied with the impulse response we will get the impulse response and which is finite this impulse response may be infinite when you are multiplying an infinite sequence with a finite sequence definitely the output will be a finite sequence that is the theory behind fir filter so w of n is window function here in this program we are using hanning window okay so there will be a formula for hanning window which is there in your textbook now for implementation of hanning window there is a function in matlab h a n n within bracket n plus n what is capital n capital n is the order of the filter what is order of fir filter order is nothing but the number of coefficients of the fir filter okay so when you are writing b comma a equals to fir1 n comma omega n comma window so you are mentioning which type of window you are using and then you are mentioning the order and you are mentioning the cutoff frequency once you mention order cutoff frequency and window and the function used to compute the fir filter response is fir1 so you are using the function fir1 n is the order of the filter omega n is the cutoff frequency and the window used here is hanning window once you write this the coefficients of the filters are recorded in b and a b is the filter coefficients of the numerator a is the filter coefficients of the denominator remember fir filter doesn't have any poles so you will get only the numerator coefficients a value a value will be always 1 because it has only zeros it doesn't have poles b is the set of coefficients of the numerator a is the set of coefficients of the denominator when fir filter doesn't have poles that means it will have only numerator it will not have any denominator so denominator value a will be 1 always in fir filter now there is a function used here to plot the response frick z frick z is the function used to plot the fir filter response so what are the inputs to this frick z function b and a the coefficients which you have computed and the number of points any point you can give here they have given 512 and the sampling frequency if you give these values then the magnitude response and phase response of the filter can be plotted b and a are the fir filter coefficients n is the order of the filter frick z is used to plot the magnitude and phase response now omega n is the normalized frequency so what is omega n first you have to enter the passband frequency passband frequency by the maximum frequency so as you know what is sampling frequency sampling frequency is 2 into fm sampling frequency is 2 into fm fs is equal to 2 into fm so what will be the maximum frequency then fm will be fs divided by 2 so omega n is the normalized frequency what is normalization frequency formula the desired frequency divided by the maximum frequency so the desired frequency is the passband frequency which is fp divided by the maximum frequency which is coming to be fs by 2 so then 2 goes up so it is 2 fp by fs now we are writing the code in matlab now you can go to this program okay so first you are designing a low pass filter so you have to enter the sampling frequency then you have to enter the order of the filter and passband frequency you have to enter then you have to normalize the passband frequency by using the formula fp into 2 by fs then you are using hanning window so you are mentioning the window equals to han n plus 1 b and a are the fir filter coefficients you are using the function fir1 n is the order of the fir filter omega n is the normalized cutoff frequency and window used here is hanning window then you are using a frick z function to plot the magnitude as well as the phase response so frick z b comma a comma 512 comma fs fs is the sampling frequency so the low pass filter is designed over here then for high pass filter everything is same you have to enter the sampling frequency order passband frequency and omega n will be fp into 2 by fs you are normalizing it window is hanning window same program you can copy paste but when you are writing fir1 here you should write high 
so high pass filter will be designed once the filter is designed you can see the response using frig z function frig z b comma a comma 512 fs okay similarly for band pass filter for band pass filter again you have to enter the sampling frequency order of the filter and you have to enter the pass band frequencies two pass band frequencies you have to enter here because band pass will have two pass band frequencies so you have to enter two frequencies over here and you have to normalize both the frequencies then you have to use a window hanning window same program b a f i r 1 n comma omega n window and then you can plot the graph using frig z function so frig z function can plot both the magnitude and phase response of the f i r filter okay now remember low pass band pass program is same only thing is in low pass you were entering only one pass band frequency here you will enter two pass band frequencies band stop and high pass both are same only thing is in high pass you were entering one frequency in band stop also you will enter two frequencies you can see here display band stop you have to enter the sampling frequency order of the filter pass band frequency normalize the frequency after that use the window and use fir1 function fir1 is n omega n stop why to why you are writing stop stop is for band stop filter similarly for high you have to mention within bracket high okay window figure and then figure frig z frig z is a function used to plot the response so b and a are the coefficients of the fir filter b values you will get a value will be always one because fir filter doesn't have a denominator it doesn't have poles okay now these are the values which you are going to enter for the command window order of the filter you can put 30 40 because fir filter can be designed using higher orders sampling rate you give 8000 let us say for low pass filter you give pass band as 1000 high pass filter also pass band you can give 1000 these values can be changed also this is just an example then band pass filter you are giving two pass band frequencies and how will you enter the pass band frequencies you have to put square bracket 1000 1500 this is the lower cut off this is the higher cut off similarly bsf 800 to 1700 so you can see the response will be recorded within the frequencies 1000 and 1500 similarly for uh, pass band bsf 800 to 1700 frequency will not be allowed below 800 the response will be observed after 1700 the response can be observed now look at the output responses this is a low pass filter you can see we have given the pass band frequency as 1000 so after 1000 you can see there is ripples so till 1000 it is passing this is the phase response of the low pass filter now you see the high pass filter high pass filter also we have given the pass band frequency as 1000 so till 1000 it is not passing after 1000 it is passing or allowing the frequencies and this is the phase response now come to the bpf band pass filter so we have given the band band pass frequencies as 1000 and 1500 so 1000 to 1500 it is passing remaining you can see the ripples ripples means it is not passing or entering it is not allowing these frequencies this is the corresponding phase response of bpf similarly this is bsf okay uh, band stop filter we have given the range as 1000 to 1500 so 1000 to 1500 frequency it is not passing below 1000 1000 it is passing and above 1500 again it is passing and this is the phase response of band stop filter okay go 